Hello, cats and kittens! Today we are talking about how to livestream games from an Apple Macintosh computer. Now, I know it's not the usual type of video content you tune in for, and if you don't have a Mac or have no interest in live streaming, don't worry, stick around, because I'll throw up a video of my cat in the left-hand corner, and I guess you can just watch that. For everyone else, if you are interested in live streaming from your Mac, uh, you'll know how much of a bloody headache it is. I spent hours and hours trying to research the best ways of doing it, um, and there are many ways of doing it, none of which are simple. But I'm going to talk about how I do it and the easiest way to get around most of the problems that crop up. So let's dive straight on into it. Now, firstly, what you're going to want to do is get yourself a Twitch TV account. Other live streaming services are available, of course, but Twitch is the most popular. Now within this, once you've signed up, the account is free, uh, you'll need to go to twitch.tv forward slash broadcast and this is where you can find your own personal live streaming key. You're going to need this and you'll see why later. Once you're on this page, you can go to show key. I'm not going to click it because it is private, you don't want to share it with anyone, but if you click that button, it'll pop up. So do that and copy it down. Don't worry about any of this stuff. So far, so good. For step two, you're going to need three pieces of essential software. These are all free and readily available online. The first of which is CamTwist. Secondly, Adobe Flash Media Encoder. And finally, to handle all the audio, you want Soundflower. So download those and come back for step three. Uh, welcome back to step three. And what we're going to do is open up CamTwist. Now, I'm not going to talk about the technicalities of each piece of software and what they actually do. Um, otherwise, this tutorial is going to be an hour long. I'm just going to tell you how to get up and running. Also, if you can't see the text here, I will upload this uh, into HD. So click on the settings somewhere down there and make sure you've got it on 1080p and you should be able to read it fine. Now, uh, on the left hand side, you'll choose which video source you want to stream from. For the most part, you're going to want to choose desktop over here because that's where you're going to be running your game. Um, so you'd select that and then any effects if you wanted any. Uh, I can't see why you'd want to do that for game streaming, but who knows, probably quite fun to play around. Now I've already got a saved setup, um, which is open now. And uh, what I've done, I've actually chosen desktop plus. Now with Desktop Plus you can choose the, uh, the which monitor you want to stream from if you've got multiple monitors. You can also confine the window that's streaming, so say if you want to cut out the uh, toolbar at the top there, you can do that. And it gives you a few other options. Now they say this is really experimental and a little bit janky, but I find that Desktop Plus works better than the standard desktop option. But that's just me, results may vary. So, once you've done all that, and you've got settings you're happy with, uh, you can save setup there, which is what I've done. And that's all running, that's all fine, so on to step four. So, for step four, we've got the Flash Media Live Encoder up and running. You'll see the two video input and output preview boxes here. Now, if CamTwist wasn't open and set up, these would be black. So, it's CamTwist that uh, captures everything on your desktop, pushes it through to Flash, and this is what will render everything and send it out to the masses on Twitch TV. Now this is where it gets a little bit complicated. I don't confess to fully understanding it myself, but um, bear with me, we'll get through this guys, and if these settings don't work for you, just tweak them. You'll get there, it'll be fine. Now it looks a bit of a jumble, but just consider the fact that you've got the video on the left hand side and the audio on the right hand side. So think of it as two columns and it's a little less confusing. Firstly, just tick all your preview boxes there so you can see what's going on with the video and the audio. And with the video, it lets you choose which device it's taking the footage from. Naturally, we want cam twist, but you can switch it to the webcam if you prefer. Format. I uh, don't know what is going to work best for everyone. 
VP6 was the codec that I had most success with. That didn't really work for me. Everything was a bit jittery and stuttery. Um, but again, just play around with both, see what happens. Now, the frame rate, this kind of depends on how crappy your internet connection is. Mine is atrocious, thanks, Virgin Media. So I set it to 15. But even 15 uh, frames per second, it sounds low. Over Twitch, it actually comes out pretty cool, so uh, that's not too bad. Go for 30 if you can get away with it. Anything above that, you really won't notice much difference, so don't worry about going crazy with that one. So that's set at 15. Now the input size, you might be looking at that, 320 by 240 and thinking, Zeke, what are you doing? That's, that's way too low a resolution. My friend, don't worry about it. Um, as long as the aspect ratio is maintained and mirrors your uh, screen resolution in size, you'll be right as rain, because down here in the output size is where you scale it um, to go to Twitch TV. So that can be as low as you like. As long as we're okay down here, you'll be right as rain. Now, the two things to worry about are the bitrate. We've got um, 500 kilobytes per second is the most I can get away with. Again, that's fine. That'll be useful for most um, most people. If you can get away with like one megasecond, brilliant, you're on fire. And anything over that, pretty much overkill, but see what you can get away with. And then the output size, that, I don't know why it's set to that. Um, but you can put 640 by 480 or whatever, uh, as long as the aspect ratio is the same as the input size. Scale it up as much as you can and it'll look beautiful on Twitch TV. So on to the audio. Whew, don't bear with me, we're nearly there. This is actually uh, a little bit more simple than the video. It's all very self-explanatory. Device, I've got internal microphone, format MP3, channel stereo, yep, all well and good. Now the sample rate and bit rate, put it up to as much as you can get away with. I find that's, you know, absolutely fine for the purposes of live streaming. And volume, you can see I'm peaking a little bit up the top there, so before I broadcast I might want to consider bringing that down a bit, but we'll leave it as it is for now. And finally, you want to check out how much bandwidth these settings are going to take up. So here it gives you a very accurate looking estimate of 6 to 8 kilobytes per second. And what you want to do is just quickly go to speedtest.net, I think this works in the US as well as England, and that'll tell you what your upload speed currently is. Uh, don't push it right up to the upload limit, kind of give yourself about 100 kilobytes per second wiggle room, just in case there's, you know, a dip in your connection. And if you find that you're far exceeding your current connection, just play with the settings and it'll work it all out in real time, so that's pretty neat. Right, on to step five, and this is the meat and potatoes of the whole thing. This is where you stream to Twitch TV. So you put panel options output, I don't even know what that is to be honest, uh, and tick that, stream to Flash Media Server. Now, this URL here in the first box is the same for everyone, so just pop that in. And just a quick note on this, because it really confused the hell out of me. If you ever see justin.tv written down, it's the same thing as twitch.tv. So think of it as twastin.tv or twitch. I don't know, it doesn't matter. But all you need to know is they are the same thing. So don't get confused if you see people referring to it as justin.tv. Anyway, that's the URL you need to put in there. Uh, leave that one blank and stream. You'll notice this is censored out. That is because this is where you put in the private URL thing you copied down earlier. So you're good to go. Um, you can save a backup FLV recording if you want. Um, more on how to record while streaming in but a moment. But that's all you need. So that's connected. Uh, you're on the server now. And then you just need to hit start. And this screen should change if all goes well. There we go, it gives you all kinds of analytical data there. And back over to Twitch TV. Okay, quick jump cut. I've opened up Minecraft. Hello, we are here. And you can see in the Flash Media Live Encoder output preview above, 
that's streaming my desktop fine. Now what you'll do is go over to Twitch. I'm just going to mute this because I can hear my own voice. You go over to Twitch and uh, to Dashboard and this is where you can test everything ahead of time. Make sure you can hear yourself fine and that everything's streaming. As you can see it is. So there you go and that is how you stream to Twitch TV. So that is pretty much that. A couple of final things we need to discuss. I'm sure you're wondering how you can stream gameplay footage while also showing your beautiful face on, on a webcam little window that everyone can see. Uh, I'm sure there's a way to do it in Cam Twist. I bet there's a way. But I've not figured it out. <clears throat> However, this is what I do. I open up iChat, which should already be on your Mac. Open this up. Hit continue. You don't need to sign in into anything, so hit continue on that. And hit done. Uh, okay, so this is open. <laughs> For some reason, it, it's worked 99 times out of 100 for me, but today it's not. Uh, can't be bothered to figure out why, but usually you've got video preview there, which you can click on, and it'll bring up a little window on your screen which features uh, the webcam footage. And you can scale and change the size of that window. And what I do is just uh, go to keep afloat there under window, and that'll mean it's permanently on top of the game window. And you can just plonk it in the corner, and Cam Twist will pick up everything on the desktop, including that, and stream it out to the world. So that's that. So one final but very important point to finish up on. You might be wondering why over here I set the audio device to be internal microphone. Obviously this is just going to push through whatever commentary you're doing to Twitch TV, and not the audio from whatever game you're playing. Um, I assume you're going to want to do both. Uh, it's rather complicated, I'm not going to lie. You'll remember at the beginning of the video I said download Soundflower. This is what it looks like. From here you can set what is going in to which channels, um, so you've got the game and the audio going on at once. And then Soundflower will push that through to Flash Media Live encoder which you can select down there as the audio source. But like I say, it's a little bit more involved to get into, um, for this video at least. But there is a link down below in the description box to a tutorial on how to get that all working. And in fact, it's so well written, kudos to the guy that wrote it. It kind of covers everything that I've talked about today. So check that out, um, it'll tell you everything you need to know if you want to see it in written form. So, that has been how to livestream on an Apple Macintosh computer. I hope it's been of some help. Um, that's how I do it in my own janky little way. But if you've got any questions or queries, do leave them in the comments box below, and I'll try and answer any lingering concerns you might have. Uh, regular videos are going to resume after this. Um, unless, of course, you want to see more tutorials. Maybe you want to see how to get Soundflower working, or how to just record natively on your Mac with ScreenFlow, which is what I use for all of my videos. Um, if so, let me know. The best place to get hold of me is Google+. I hang out there all the time, so get on there, add me to your circles, it'll be fantastic. I'll add you back, we'll have some fun. While you're at it, uh, add Jeremy Stratton and Jessica Brown on Google+, because there is nothing they don't really know about live streaming. Otherwise, if you need any games to record and go on Twitch TV with, also check out the description box because I'm proud to now be partnered with uh, Game Fan Shop. Their prices are cheaper than Steam for the most part, and you can download games instantly, no matter where you are in the world. So definitely do that if you need games, they are fantastic. Otherwise, I'll catch you on the flip-flop. Uh, subscribe to this channel by uh, clicking on my face. Are you done? Have you subscribed? Good. That actually really hurts.